In one of the knitting groups I participate in, a woman showed us a picture of a gorgeous sweater with a garter stitched um, front button band and buttonhole band and a beautiful chained edge up the edge of it. And we were talking about how does one get that in garter stitch. It's quite easy in stocking stitch or stockinette. For that, you simply slip the first stitch of every purl row. But it's not quite as obvious how to get it in garter stitch. So I've been playing around and here we are. Of course, in garter stitch, we knit every row. There is no purling. You just knit to the end of the row, turn, knit to the end of the row again, turn. And that's what makes the deep texture that doesn't roll. To get the special edge, we change one little thing. I'm at the end of the row, knit the second to last stitch, but purl the final stitch. Now turn the work just as usual, but slip the first stitch. Every single row we will do this. Slip the first stitch. I put it back. Slipping just means move it to the other needle without knitting it. That's all slipping is. So slip the first stitch, knit across, knit every stitch as a knit stitch, including the second to last one in the row, purl the last stitch. First row is just a smidge tough because you're knitting off the cast on. After that, purling into that stitch is easy peasy. Slip the first stitch, knit across the row. When you get to the end, purl the final stitch. There may possibly be other methods that would work to achieve the nice edge, but this one is very reliable and very easy. Quick review. Every row, slip the first stitch, knit all of the stitches except the last one, purl the last stitch.